lounging, son. Welcome back to the Comic Lounge. My name is Ryan. Got my boy Mario back with me. What's up, everybody? And we are going to be going through another artist edition. We're going through Sam Keith's The Max. Beautiful book. Awesome character. It sucks that these... Not only is this book out of print, but all Max comics are out of print, which is kind of annoying. You get the early issues pretty easily, like dollar bins and stuff, but then you get to like the later issues, and that's when the print run starts going down. I know they did... IDW did a color... Or a recolor version, yeah, they re- right? The Maximize mm-hmm. or something Max, like that? Maximize, yeah. They released them in singles, and then they, re- they redid new hardcovers of the Max Maximize as well. Yeah. I think I've read, like, the first 13, so I'm pretty sure this is probably... I don't know. I haven't seen this book yet, but I don't know. Is it consecutive issues? I think it is. Yeah. Um, there's also the animated series that came out, too. Mm-hmm. Some, some people might have seen that. Yeah. But this is a... Uh, a dope character by an amazing creator. Sam Keith is an artist. Bill Messner Lobes is the writer of this, along with Sam Keith. But look at this dude. This is gorgeous. This dude is insane. His Wolverine is is like <laughs> next level, you know. But I mean, this is like the first. The Max is like one of the first books besides the Founding Seven um, from Image. I mean, I think his book even precedes Will Spurtasio's Wet Works. If I remember Might correctly, because so. that took a couple of years to come out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like this is you know like he's he's a hit at Marvel, right? And Eric they get Larson. him over here. Yes, Eric Larson. That's dope. So he probably owns some pages. I'm assuming. I'm assuming, or Eric Larson was one of the people to get him to come this over here. Oh, Savage Dragons in one. Okay, so it has the the pages from the issue of Savage Dragons in here. So it has one through six. A deeper image. There's isn't it? One. Isn't it darker image? I don't remember. I'm pretty sure the the comic where Max first appeared was darker image, not deeper image, but whatever. I'm not going to split pubes over there. <laughs> um, so we got Scott Dembeer again editing, bringing this awesome product uh, to God, all of us. Fucking... Yeah, him and uh, Joe Mad are the two that, to me, are kind of in that same style. It's like super exaggerated, like t- another level of exaggeration. And we talked about that thing with... Um, was Joe mad that it was like the pinnacle of 90s style, mm-hmm. like super roided out, huge dudes, but with this just something about it that makes it look different. And with this one, I got so I found out about the animated series before I found out it was even a comic yeah. book. Um, and it just stood out to me because it looked it almost had like this fantasy novel mixed with like heavy metal, like Rosetta kind of shit going on. To it. it's like it's a very weird combination of art style that really fucking stood out. And uh, the fucking nine-year-old me was just like, what the fuck is this? Whatever this is, I wanted more of it. He likes junky art. He wanted to be an underground comics artist before he got into mainstream comics. Remember the word crap for me is a compliment, too, so don't listen to me. Just sit back and enjoy. <laughs> I love this, dude. So, yeah, we got the... Oh, that's... <laughs> so, it's definitely uh, it's definitely a misprint, huh? Um... So yeah, like I said, Will, uh, William Messner Lobes is uh, doing the dialogue. The story is Sam Keith with the art, and then inks is Jim Sinclair. This is interesting. So this wasn't even published before. This what well, would have been Darker Image too, because they only came out what? with the one. Are you gonna tell me that Image has a bunch of stuff that never got printed? Oh, that's weird. That the third edition of one and two yeah. never came out. Yeah, that's no, odd. I've never heard of that, dude. That's so unheard of for them. <laughs> I thought everything came out on time. Yeah. So I love this. That's a cutout of, of the onomatopoeia is draping down. Look at the level of fucking rendering that he does. Just, I mean, this is... The amount of work that yeah. goes into this. I love the design of the Max, too. Yeah. It's just some big hulking guy with a fucking, like... I mean, an overbite. Of Max. What it looks like. That's, yeah. yeah, that's what always stood out to me. And yeah. I, I always like this juxtaposition of him and her... But she yeah. looks more like a regular sized person, regular normal features, and then he's so fucking exaggerated. Yeah. And then the monster designs too, were absolutely fantastic. And, and this is why I'm saying it, it kind of gave me like a. I didn't even know Frazetta was a thing back when I was a kid, but it just it reminds me of that same kind of like looking at rock Frizetta and roll now, yes. art yeah. style, but mixed with '90s hyper muscular. Extreme heroes. Yeah, I wonder if Frazetta was something that was an influence on him because this definitely does feel like there's some Frazetta flourishes in here. Yeah. In terms of like the way he's rendering this creature and like the the detail and all this stuff, it definitely looks. It's interesting. I never like really thought about that when looking at Sam Keith's art before, but I can see that. Yeah, it's just. It, I mean, the backgrounds are minimal. 
Yeah. But it's just more of the character work, and, and it's just showing also the perspective on the size, because it's very much a small... I mean, he's tiny compared to him. He's compared to the other, yeah. You know what? His women kind of have a little Frazetta yeah. vibe to it's him, It's not too. the same. It's not exactly Frazetta, but yeah. you can tell it's just like his take on that kind of style. Yeah. Especially when you go to the, the world where he's in his fantasy, yeah. where she's dressed more like the Jungle Queen. And that's a that's a Frazetta character, yeah. Exactly. So that's that's always the vibe that I, maybe even before I even knew what that was, it's just that's the style that it remind me of. Just yeah. breathtaking, dude. The level of detail. Like you go from one page where it's like minimal background, and then you flip the page and it's this. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. Even the gar- even the gargoyles on the side. The level. Of the what, look at the detail yeah. in her pants, dude. And that's how the world is introduced to the max, and then we get the first issue. So like darker, and I think he said this was supposed to take place in issue two originally this story but it came out in darker image first yeah it was always his intention to lead it into the max number one. Oh no i'm sorry the second darker image story was supposed to take place i yeah, guess it just didn't work out yeah. and just turned into the max yeah. i fucking love this cover dude it's yeah. imbe- look at the fucking splatters it just, it also gives me, like, graf- you graf- graffiti. Feel the, you can see the texture of it. But it also gives me, like, graffiti, like, because the Max to me, I always said that, looked more like graffiti. It reminded me of, like, 90s hip-hop graffiti, like, street art shit. So it's just a combination of, like, so many different things that it was just, to me, it just broke my brain when I was a kid. Oh, yeah, Because I just sure. didn't understand, like, what the fuck, wait, this is I know, I don't think art? I was ready for this kind of style when I was, when I was, when this was coming out. There's no way. Like, I, I, I've talked about it so many times, like, art that I, like... I didn't appreciate back then. I'm like, oh, that's fucking weird, you know. Like, and I, yeah. I just couldn't get into it. And I had to, I had to grow up and like appreciate like certain types of art style. I'm not saying this is one of them, but this is one that I wouldn't necessarily, maybe wouldn't have followed, you know, because I just don't think that I was like mature enough to like really appreciate the level of detail, the level of craft that was yeah. going into it. Um, yeah, because you were you were kids yeah. when this came out. Oh yeah, dude, very young. I definitely, Image was definitely not one of the first comics I picked up. You know, like, I think I got into comics a little bit before, or maybe at that age, I was the age when they first came out, but I wasn't, I didn't discover these yet until I was older. Yeah, look at this. Make every single thing about it. Look at the detail and the fucking meter, the pipes. Yeah. The design, like, the layout of the whole fucking yeah. thing is just very, very specific, very, very on purpose. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at the like, Wolverine looking ass guy over here. But, like, there's, like, very cartoon exaggerated elements, and then you have very, like, I guess also kind of cartoon, but exaggerated feminine. Yeah, I mean, it's not, like, it's not one of those styles that you would say is realistic, right? Like, it's definitely cartoony. Yeah. But it's unique. It's not a generic, like, house style, quote unquote, right. you know? I mean, look at how, like, if you tried to, like, mi- like you know how they put like cartoon characters and make them realistic like yeah. what would this dude's bone structure look like <laughs> you know what i mean look at his face his, look at his foot <laughs> look at that thing dude it's bigger than his like if you do that and then you go like that right like <laughs> his foot is as big as his fucking back it's crazy but i'm here for it dude i love it you know like the cross hatching too yeah there's always, always texture in the background even if it's just a yeah. plain background and then see like her face was more cartoony earlier but now it's got a little bit more Realist, realistic look yeah. to it, you know? Like, he's playing around with stuff. The fucking, look at that. The blood splatter on the back seat. Like, this is a book that also deals with, like, mental health mm-hmm. a lot, you know? Which well, I that's what he, he, he ends up working with a social worker. Yeah. Or he thinks he just has mental issues. And that's why he, and he's huddled into a ball in the back seat of a, of a cop car, perfectly harmless. And he thinks all of this is a delusion in his head. Mm-hmm. Like, he thinks this version of him... This idealistic version of him with this jungle queen is, is just in his head. It's just delusions. Yeah. And there we go. I love the lettering in this too. I gotta I have to say that. He's got this like weird like fucking feather hair yeah, shit. Yeah, he's got a hairdress on. thing that, like a headdress that yeah. implies it's like a native character. The outback in Australia. Yep. This fucking thing, dude. <laughs> it's crazy. And he gets back to the real world. That's interesting. So that's like, I feel like that's almost like fishnet on her, because it's just white. I mean, you yeah. can't see it on the camera, but I can. But it's not on the rest of the panels. Yeah, I don't know. So it's it was weird. like a design they might have aborted. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, maybe he had it there and then he whited it out. Yeah, and they realized hey, it'd be easier if I just didn't do that. Yeah, that makes sense. I think he had like some sort of lingerie type um, design right here too. To, he nixed that also. Jesus Christ, man! Look at all the all the writing, all this, so much spawn rules. <laughs> The universe is in a jam jar kept in a cupboard. And you see the more cartoony styles. Kelly Jones. Savage Dragon Who. Image Comics. I Can't Stop the Voices. The Streets Are Paved with Time. Shark's Teeth Soup. Like, it, look at the fucking detail. You feel it's, it's so good. Mm -hmm. And I kind of feel like the name is kind of doesn't mean a whole lot anymore. Sam oh. Keith. Yeah. I mean, to people that, like us, it means something. But I think, like, the general audience doesn't really mean a whole lot. And, I mean, look at this. It's Yeah, but, and that's that's only because he's not... Really relevant. And not really around anymore. He's not around anymore. They don't... I mean, I think the last thing to come out was that Batman Max book, which was super late yeah. in between issues. And I don't think it sold a ton. You know, like, yeah. maybe if it was published by DC and DC was pushing it. Like, I know he's done... Um, he did a Lobo book with Scott Ian oh, from, right. the, from the singer from Anthrax. Yeah. Uh, he did a couple other like Batman original hardcovers a few years ago too. But like for the most part, yeah, he, he's not doing anything. And it doesn't help anybody that the books aren't in print. You know, so it's not like you can be like, hey, go pick this book up. It's dope. Where? Yeah. You know? Look at the fucking detail in the chucks, dude. You know? It's crazy. That's, that's fucking beautiful right there. The detail he puts into these torn <laughs> jean shorts. Every page. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a book. This is definitely a series I shouldn't have been watching when I was a kid. It was back when they had, um, I think it was called Liquid TV on MTV, where they had uh, this and uh, Eon Flux. Yeah. Yeah, it's Jesus. Oh, dude, look at this. Christ. I love this. The way the panel falls, and it's, but then it starts turning out. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. Oh my god, look at this, dude. Look at this double page. It almost looks like Spawn. If you... It does. In, in the darkness. Yeah. I mean, you can kind of tell this is Every... all from the same era. I know, this is insane. How much time does it take? So this isn't scanned from the original so they just blacked it out. Yeah. Look how cartoony it gets at some points. Mm -hmm. That's a great shot, too. Yeah. That car. I miss Sam Keith. I wish he was fucking doing comics still. I mean, yeah, I just... I don't want to see this forever. Yeah. Yeah, like, I gotta think, dude. Like, isn't there a way? Can't we get, like, a Kickstarter? Re release the Max or something? Like, do some fucking. Do something, dude. Like, this I guy's. Know. I mean, like, I wonder, like, why? Why isn't he producing? Does he just not want to? I mean, I gotta imagine. He may not have been making the same money as all the image founders, but he had to have made a shit ton of money from, like, the early issues of the Max. Obviously, the print run goes down. But he had to have made something. And then he got made into a show. Yeah. So that had to meet some money somewhere. Yeah. But look at this, dude. Like, why aren't you still drawing, dude? But I don't think the Max Maximize sold that well either, unfortunately. Yeah. It's just, like you said, it just doesn't really, his name doesn't really carry that much weight anymore. But do like a black label book, dude, a DC or something? Yeah, okay, whatever the fuck you want. Something, just huh? fucking do just it. Give us a book. <laughs> Just do more of this. I, mean, I, I can understand this probably takes forever. Well, yeah. Look, I mean, look at the fucking hairs on his arm. Yeah, look the, at this. The, I mean, just all the... This takes forever. I understand. But it's just fucking... Just keep it going. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of shots of him like that. Yeah. He gets into the fetal position. And it's really why... The, like you mentioned, this. I mean, it's really... The story is really sad. It's, it is a very sad story. It's a very depressing and sad story about this man creature... He's just got. He thinks his mental health, and it's just he deals with the real world, and the real world's a really fucked up version of New York. And he's unhappy and unwell. Oh yeah, the phone calls. Mm -hmm. She keeps getting phone calls. Even the it's just that little panel on her detail in her eye. Mm -hmm. But look at how specific and planned out this page is, and how he's fucking like the panels. And there's just where else do you see this? I, you don't see this now. I, I mean, I'm not seeing it as. I mean, maybe maybe I'm just not looking at the right books, but you're definitely not seeing this much kind of. Um, like it's just one of those creativity. things where, you know, when you start off, you want to follow the rules, you want to know how to do it right. But once you get 
mastered it, then it's when he's fucking around with it because you're so good at it. And this is an example of that. Yes. When you really know what the fuck you're doing, you throw out the rules and just do whatever the fuck you want because you make it work and you create something that's completely different. <laughs> it's just nuts, dude. Look at, like... Yeah. No, I, I know. I, it's just the hair on his chest that looks like hair. Like, it literally looks like... like it's, yeah. It's fuzzy or something, dude. Yeah. And again, more graffiti, dude. Look at all. So it, was, it just it gives me that like grunge like zine shit from the 90s grunge shows, rock show, mm-hmm. like hip hop underground show vibe with Frazetta with 90s you know, super muscular hero. It's just it's just a weird combination of things. It's fucking gorgeous. Fucking Batman, dude. And a little bit of Wolverine. I wonder the why they couldn't get the covers. So this is the second cover. I think the first one they... I'm not going to flip back. I think the first one they had the original for it. But it's the last two issues, I want, maybe the people didn't want to... I don't know, dude. If I owned the original page, I'd be like... You can scan, I'll scan it. Please, please, please scan it. Yeah. I'll mail it to you. Share it with the world, you know? Instead of having it locked away somewhere in a cabinet and no one's ever going to see it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! I wonder if this is all done with like a like a big pen. That's kind of, to me. That's what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Oh, not original. So another asshole in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm right, and it's just an asshole that didn't want to share the book. And I hope it's not another reason. If it is another reason, I apologize. <laughs> my god, dude! Again, like you don't even have you don't have to do this. You know, like you don't have to put that shit in there. Just because he can. So sick, dude. The, the, the net. Look at the fucking detail on this. But look at this. He just blacked out the entire page. Yeah. Just fucking. Yeah. Huh? Everywhere. You also get bits of Frank Miller. It's it it, lo- it also reminds me of McFarland. It reminds me of Frank Miller, but it's just all of the best pieces of all these people and put into Sam Keith. Yeah. I just don't understand. Yeah, you know, we just don't get enough artists that have this, like, unique style anymore. You know, like, I feel like there's so much of, so much sameness in comics now. I hate to say that. I mean, there is there are styles that are unique, but, you know, like, you don't see this kind of, oh, that head does, is too big for that body. You get people like that, and it's like, dude, just, fuck, it's comic books. You know, just enjoy the art. Does yeah. it look dope? Then fucking... Just shut, it. Then shut your mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love this. Look at that. The way the panel is, it's fucking trees. It's framed by trees instead of it being a panel. Well, there's, I mean, there's no consistent frame panel. There's no, there's no fucking structure. It's just whatever the fuck he feels like it needs to be for yeah. the page. But it works. I wonder how he, how he put his books together. Yeah. Because like you said, like there's really no rhyme or reason for the structure of the way this book is put together. So how was he producing these pages? He definitely had to be doing them out of order, you know? Like, maybe one day he feels like doing some stuff like this. Another day he feels like doing something like that with, like, you know, like, no, not really having a lot, a lot of, of blocks. A lot of negative space. Yeah. It's just white. Yeah, I don't know. Another, Another one. <laughs> Let's see, that one's more traditional. Yeah. And so is this one. It's just getting more and more traditional. But then he just fucks around with his other pages. It's just insane. And you're like, what the and fuck? And then he goes back to something like this. Yeah. Like, look at look the... Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> How much time does that fucking take? This book was this book was definitely not coming out monthly. No. Oh god, no. This, plus this you is... don't have plus you don't have like a it's not like Marvel and DC where they're like you need this we need an issue a month. You know, like back then I rarely I don't think Marvel and DC were coming out late. I don't think so. Right? Like I think that definitely <coughs> happened later on. But I'm pretty sure like the early days, like they're like, no, you need to get this you need to turn this book around. Look at this panel design. It's just zooming in on the he's clipping his nails and it just but look at the way it's just it's I mean this is who the fuck does this? Dude Tarantino would love this fucking this panel. And this shot right here is also that's one of the most well known. Yeah. For the series as a whole. Look at that. Yeah. Is that a lot of more white out and corrections? Oh we got an original cover here. I think there's so much going on on this cover. My god. <laughs> Like, I can just, like, see him going, yeah. just, like, throwing the ink down. 
This just reminds me how much I love this book. I mean, look at this. The posters, the no, like, the book, the records on the floor. Like, he fucking... There's a lot of that time and effort. Yeah. And it's all careful. Like, it's a, that's kind of why I keep pointing out the panel design. It's all I love this. specific. Which is one of the benefits of you doing most of the work. That is exactly what you want it to be. Yeah, there's no misconception on how you want it done, you know? Yep. Kind of give it... I wonder how hard it was to ink him. How, I mean, how hard was it to do anything? Even coloring, I mean... I, I would, coloring would have been hard too, but I'm saying like inking over his pencils, like these tight lines that he has. Yeah. Even coloring, I'd, I'd be worried about losing some of the detail. Yeah. I, and you know what? I, I feel that all the time when I go back and I read old comics, like... How much am I losing? Like, I was reading some old Batman, uh, Kelly Jones Batman recently. So much teeth on And I can only think, like, man, did the coloring ruin some of the art here? I, I've know? definitely seen it. I've and I'm not trying to say colors, colorists aren't good. I'm just saying that, especially, like, back then, with the limited, lack of te- the yeah, limited, limited technology, yeah. like, I feel like it just, it took away from the art. Because you look at some of the originals of, of these comics, right? And then you look at the coloring, and it's like... Well, this is more blocky Man. and simple, and yeah. it makes the whole thing look simpler. Yeah. And then you look at the pencils, and you're like, oh, no, this was not simple at all. Yeah, and you're like, oh, shit, he did draw a lot of lines there. You know? Yeah. Like, all that stuff. It's like, I'm not mad, Jimmy. It's creepy as fuck. And so you start feeling a little bit of that Frank Miller Sin City. Yeah. And this is right around the time that Sin City was coming out, too. Right? 93, I believe, was Sin City. What a great character, dude. What a great idea. Yeah. What a great world. Love I also it. wonder what this... I mean, I could probably... I'm sure there's probably somewhere out there, but even the story of how the animated series came about. Like, how did that happen? I know. It's... it's. I mean, like, Spawn I get. Right? At like, the time, I, it was one of kind the of hottest get. things in the world. Yeah, but the Max? I didn't discover the Max till later. Like, probably the cartoon was probably the first thing I saw of the character. Not the comic. Spawn, it's like, was everywhere. Yeah. Video games. Toys. Action figures and all that shit. Yeah. So... Yeah, to, to get an adaptation of such, like, to me, what I think, consider, like, a more obscure title. See, there he is again, laying down. It's amazing. That looks like a Frazetta foot. I know that that sounds weird. But, like, <laughs> but that looks very similar yeah. to, like, how Frazetta's... You get the feeling he studied his art. Yeah. I mean, look, you know, a master studying from another master, you know, like, that's how you become better. See yeah. all that texture on the... What the fuck, man? Yeah, this is a uh, look, and then we go to this fucking like cartoon style. This is nuts. Like that reminds me of, like the WB frog right there. Yeah. And then you get like little mix of like, well, quote unquote, the different art styles. Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty crazy, dude. Like he's he's messing with so many different styles. Look at his style here. Yeah, he just pulls from so much out of his toolbox of skills. You know, like my God, the tread on the fucking that's insane. If you've never heard of of Sam Keith and you don't appreciate him after this video, look at that. There he is. A dragon is your boy. Here. I love Savage Dragon. So cool to see him make an appearance in this issue. I know there's a... I feel like there's another issue. Or no, there's an issue of Savage Dragon where Max uh, is in there. And I fucking love love that one too. Dude. Mako, another Savage Dragon villain. Jumping through. Pretty cool to see him cross over. Because like at this point, like you're not seeing much crossover with the Image universe. Um, like you would see from the early days of Image. Yeah. Kind of makes sense. I, I, can, I can see why San Keith would, would go with Savage Dragon. You know? I feel like for all the people Sam Keith would be friends with, I can I can see Eric Larson being the one that he'd be yeah, kind of well, cool with. Yeah, we could shout him. out in the book. Yeah. We get some color here. Nice, dude. So this is watercolor on the board. That's dope. God, let me tell me that doesn't look presented like. I'm pretty sure that is like an, an, uh, a homage to a Frazetta painting, if I'm being honest. I can't remember the name, but it looks but look how much way you too the styles. Yeah, dude. And this looks like traditional comic book. 
fucking crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. And you go with an ancestor anymore to the old Sam Keith. I mean, this is fucking amazing. Just like within a couple issues, watching him jump from style to style. Look at, I mean, That's look at that eyeball. Yeah. Back to watercolor. That's also um, looks almost identical to a Frazetta piece. <laughs> Another one of these. It's amazing. Oh, so this is from. This is the darker, the darker image too, but that never got published. Yeah. Yeah, I wish that fucking book would have lasted, dude. Like, that's some cool characters. I mean, that's where Deathblow came in to play. Blood Wolf, by Liefeld, Max. You know, really dope books, man. Sin Keith is just amazing, dude. Like, look at this. What a great fucking final page to end on, you know? That's awesome. Jumping out of this fucking... I don't even know what the fuck he's jumping out of. I don't know. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, dude, Max. Artist edition. Amazing book, amazing series. Definitely, if you can find this or any of the comics, I highly recommend it. I know Mario does too. Just check, check out Sam Keith in general. Yeah, Sam Keith in general. And uh, if you're not already following us, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at The Comic Lounge. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're notified every time a new vid goes up. And on that note, we're out.